everyone welcome to alchemy star so we are here at the official facebook page of the game we're gonna be discussing the three aurorians that will be dropping tomorrow march 31 for the update and probably give you my thoughts and first impressions of their kit uh but before we go go to that one um i just saw this actually uh this is uh, a preview of um tour dog dancing his skills and you may check out the YouTube link that is uh, indicated here in this post. So without further ado, let's um, pr go proceed to the three new uh, Aurorians, starting with Amemori. Okay, so Amemori, guys, um, I'm actually surprised that she is a she is a converter. Because of her attack stat, um, obviously it's it's very high for for a converter, and she is uh, also of lightning uh, element. So again, that is how I was surprised about what her design is and the design probably of her uh, what they call this of how she looks is actually pretty pretty good. So let's move on to her skills. So first and foremost, um, we start with the active skill. So Shadow Trace, consume two points of ninja power and choose one traversable tile to summon one katana. If a katana already exists in the selected tile, a memory will teleport to the tile immediately and retrieve the katana, gaining one point of ninja power. So one is interesting point about this is that um, she her kit is similar to Wendy. Uh, Wendy usually leaves a feather and she goes back to that feather. So kind of the same mechanic, but kind of different. So um, let's move on to their chain combo. So ninja power, gain one point at the start of each wave, every round up to five points. Okay, so two chain deals 160 damage to eight tiles in a cross shape. A chain deals 165 damage to 12 times in 12 tiles in a diamond shape and summons a katana at a random traversable tile. My concern here is uh, it's, this is going to be random. So this is kind of weird, but let's move on first. That's a 13 chain deals 170% damage to enemies in, in one surrounding cluster. And cross shape to the maximum range and summons one katana for each two random traversable tiles. So um the mechanic of her kit is is actually in line with um the swap mechanic for the ones that were released last time in terms of the update, and it continues to come to this update. Um, I read through the other three. It's going to be swap mechanic. Um, so we're, we're gonna have to deal with new Aurorians integrating them into our existing teams or building different teams for them. So just want to go through the, the 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 skills first before we give our other comments. So equipment skill katana slash after teleporting with active skill retrieves all katanas. Each katana deals one fifty percent damage to the nearest one enemy while ignoring their defense, which is good. The further the distance, the lower the damage. Minimum of 20% of the original damage if at least set four katanas are retrieved. One new katana will be summoned. When a memory becomes the captain, she gains one ninja power, triggers up to three times per round. So captain changes uh, for battle is uh, or has a plus one. So her kit is actually going to work with Tessa. Um, Tessa is also of uh, Thunder. And a Tessa team would definitely be good overall for her kit. Um, I'm actually still on the fence with her. I'm not sure that she is a, you know, she is a solid. She, she could be average. She could be solid. But not really that um, overpowered or above average Aurorian for our game. So, again, um, Captain Swap is actually employed here. Um... RNG guys for her kit is really hit and miss. So again, I'm I'm waiting. Um, I'm actually looking forward to testing her out. Hopefully, I get her. And 
try to get more out of her kit. I think she has more. She has a lot of potential in terms of what she gives, but I'm not sure if her damage output is going to be that big. Okay, even though that her attack stat is at three thousand six hundred. So, again, I'm for now. I think she is. She has a decent kit, and I think she is worth summoning if you are for example curious about her kit and if you think that you have something in mind for her then you go for her okay so let's move on to yao okay so for yao here um she is a forest element her class is detonator and again it's 3653 attack which is kind of near to amimori so i'm actually shocked again that amimori's attack is is actually very high so Again, converters will definitely... I'm actually questioning if uh, Amimori's um, class is going, is really converted. So anyway, we'll see that tomorrow and see really what she is, if she's really a converter or not. So going back to Yao. So she is a um, detonator class. Definitely, one thing comes to mind is that... Um, is she going to be worth getting while we already have Hero, while we have already Arya? So again, those are the questions that if you want to get her, would you want to get her to use her? Or would you want to get her to add to your team despite you having Hero already or Arya? So, but again, it really depends on on your choice if you think that her kit is going to be good let's go to her kit first so, so that we could decide if she's uh, better or better than hero or at least better than Arya. okay so we could decide on that so let's take a look at her skills so active skill heaven sent cooldown two preemptive strike swap positions with the current captain and gain one stack of heroic mark this round's Combo chain deals two damage, two times damage to uh, four adjacent tiles. When the round is over, swap positions with the Orion uh, at the end of the team. Okay, so this is just going to be um, a buff for the two two times damage. Um, her chain combo is hammer first. Not really, not really surprised or overwhelmed by her kit. Um, two chain deals one sixty damage to one surrounding cluster. Um, eight chain deals 165 damage to 16 tiles in a radial shape. 13 chain deals 170 damage to 24 tiles in a radial shape. With this is actually new, so um, but I don't think it's a game changer. So let's move on. Um, equipment skill cross path gains heroic mark. If Yao has been captain this round, each stack of heroic mark increases her base by five percent. Um, based on this, I don't think this will be, this will surpass Arya's buff. So this is five. So if you could stack probably at a maximum seven, that's 35%, probably if you can. So bonuses are clear at the end of the round. So that is actually your limitation. Whether Yao becomes the captain game, one stack of heroic mark captain changes for the battle plus one heroic mark gain one stack at the beginning of each round up to seven stacks. So. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't think she's going to be, she's going to be over the top with Arya. So, um, if you're going to summon her for her, her kit, well, if you don't have Arya or Hero, probably yes. If you're going to be summoning her for her aesthetics, well, then good as well. But again, if you're expecting that she's going to be better than both of them, I don't think so. Um, I don't think her buff is worth it for herself. So for her, kind of, um, if you really, if your intention is her, um, it depends on which part of the game you are. If you have those two other characters that I mentioned, probably yeah, probably no. If you don't have Hero and Arya, probably yes a bit. If you just want to try your luck. Um, again, Yao, 50-50, depending on what are your current figures. So I'm in Mori. Kinda a bit on the 80% to summon. Um, I'm curious about how to use her. So let's go to the last one, which is Momo and Anzu. They are sniper and your fire element, and they have 3178. So kinda, you know, the usual for snipers. Nothing special. They are your free unit for the game. 
uh, free what I mean because but but you still have to do some you know some tasks and objectives within the game to get them so let's take a look at their skills and see if they make sense Luxor's finish with a cooldown of five <laughs> This is it good. So deals 88 damage eight times to one random tile. Eight. Okay. I don't see this working for me. <laughs> Just by the randomness of the tile, that's a really, really small percentage that will be hitting your target. Unless the whole board is filled with enemies, probably full. Within three surrounding clusters, then deals an additional. Oh, sorry, we didn't. We didn't. Three additional clusters. Okay, within the cluster itself. Then deals an additional 188% damage to the same tile and surrounding cluster. Reduces active skill cooldown by one by one round when occupying the captain position. Triggers up to three times per round. So there's a chance that her cooldown could be lower than five. Probably four or three. Unstable walk. Um, this is going to be your chain combo. Three chain dealing 150% two times to random enemies within, again, it's random, within its surrounding clusters. If a target sustains damage for more than once, the damage for every hit after the first is, first one is reduced by half. Then your eight chain is going to be, it's the same, the damage is going to be 160. And your 13 chain is almost, it's, it's the same. Um, the 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 multiplier is actually changing as you go on a higher chain. So two, three, and four. Okay. Um, last on her skills is going to be equipment. So secret menu. At the beginning of each round, Momo and Anzu will become the captain automatically. So you have no choice. While the rest of the team retreats to retreats one position, each time Momo and Anzu become the captain, a special. Kania Cuisine will be obtained with a 50% chance of getting one more. Captain changes for the battle plus one. Special Kania Cuisine. Each time a special Kania Cuisine is obtained, choose one flavor from the spicy, salty, and sweet, and sour. Up to nine times for each flavor. So these are the buffs that uh, you can choose from. I don't know. Uh, kind of... Well, they're, they're free, so what do you expect? So, kind of good to have, I think. But will I use them? Probably not. So, and that's it. So, again, random damage, cooldown issues, probably could be lower. And the RNG is too much for this kit. So, again, what, what, do, you, what do I think of all these three units? Um, I think... Um, the free unit, you know, it's free, so why not? Um, Yao, again, if you don't have Hero and um, and uh, Arya, probably yes. If you're really desperate for a for a detonator class, especially if um, if you don't really if you really want to build but you don't have other options, then probably yes. Um, 50 50 on this if you want to pull for this. But definitely, I'm curious on Amimori on how her kit goes. Um, it's I'm actually curious at this point. Um, her kit has piqued my interest in how to really, really build her. And plus, she has a connection and a possibility of uh, you know uh, being played with Tessa. So I'm actually curious on how to use her. So. Again, guys, so that is it so far. So hopefully you, you know, you, you know, got something from, you know, from my first impressions, probably my initial review, probably have more reviews um, on these characters in the coming or in this figures, for, uh, not figures, for this Aurorians for the next few days as they drop. If I get them, well then good. I really want to get a memory. I don't, you know, I, I don't, if I get Yao, I don't know if I will build her in any way, but a memory has really picked my curiosity at this point so anyway guys thank you very much for staying this far so hopefully this swap mechanic is going to be better in future you know future aurorians if they want to roll this out this is actually a good mechanic but again it should be efficient because we already have established you know our our core teams 
of how they play and this one is actually kind of a curveball when 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 we integrate these aurorians in our existing teams or probably create a new one just for them so thank you miss thank you again guys for staying this far so hopefully if you're here you would consider subscribing to my channel more alchemy stars videos in the future um i'm actually just uh, getting my feet wet uh, with all this content coming out more content in the future um, so please do subscribe and click that bell icon so you don't miss future videos from alchemy stars from this channel so thank you thank you very much guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here